GTA 5 has been out for over a decade and I have never played it once. So in today's video, I'll spend 100 days in GTA Online and I'll be starting completely from scratch to see how far I can get in the next 100 days. The rules for these 100 days are very simple. I'm simply not able to do any exploits, glitches, stuff like that to get money or levels. But through the 100 days, you'll see a bunch of hackers will give me some levels here and there. But any exploits that are out of my control obviously don't count. And the goals for the 100 days is to complete all the DAX missions, buy the Kasaka for $2.2 million and complete the Kyle Perico heist, as well as buy the agency and complete the Dr. Dre missions. And with all that being said, let's spend 100 days in GTA Online. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing for character creation. Okay, here we go. If I just press random. Uh, this is rough. Yeah, I'll just rock with that, I guess. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah, I'm rocking with this. Right. Uh, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks good. I don't know if it's, like, perfect, but I, I don't need to have it perfect. Um, where am I supposed to go? Quick GPS? Where's the map? Free car, my car. Um, I think. How do I turn this off? No. Um. Oops. My fault. Oops. My bad. The XQC. The first couple days, I just don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just getting the hang of things. Uh, so if I make a lot of mistakes in the beginning, yeah, I just don't know what I'm doing. But I did purchase a little casino license for like 500 so I could spin the wheel. Uh, so I guess that was one thing productive. I'm gonna go buy something. Probably a gun. I don't know if it's really important but you know it's uh it's whatever i don't really know what i'm doing basically oh free draco i mean i'll take it after buying a new gun i started up these missions online i'm not really sure what these are but it got me off my feet at least getting me some money and stuff like that so i started doing these for the next couple days all right we're gonna take we're gonna go do a drive by the the ops real quick i'm about to put do so much effort like i did with the last mission where i just kind of drove around died and that's about it all right boom Look at that headshot, you see that? I mean, no door, low key, he goes kind of dumb. Okay, just drive your own vehicle, all right. This guy can't drive either, so I, I don't think I'm that, it's, I'm doing that bad. So what's the difference? I got cash just on, on me, and then cash in the bank. Do they track it if I send the bank, I'm assuming? How do I get the most efficient amount of money? Because I'm assuming it works like Red Dead, where it's, you spend money to get money. I'm, a, I'm gonna commentate, all right, here we go, here we go. We got Tom Samu with the with the AK. He sees that guy on his right. Quick grenade, great grenade throw. Hide it behind glass. Not a good play. Hits him with that blind fire. If he takes out the boss, it might end the mission. Not quite sure though. He might be trying to take a photo. Maybe he's looking up on Google how to do it. Oh, but he's got it. He is currently trying to make his way down. He's bugging out though. He's on 900 ping. Mission passed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. That was all me. Twenty-five thousand in the band in the in the in the. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Roger, Roger. Target down, target down, target down. I also continue to do more missions of this, uh, so nothing interesting. And of course, right when I get some money, I did go to buy some clothes. I bought this like crazy night vision helmet. Not useful at all, but you know it looks cool. I actually spent that money. That's so wild that I even bought this. On uh, day four, I went out in the desert, and I found this dude Dax for a mission. This was completely just by random. I didn't really know what I was doing, uh, but this was very important. The reason why is because you get a ton of money, and at the end of doing these string of missions, you're able to get a crazy amount of passive income from a certain thing. I won't, you know, spoil it yet, but literally doing this set of missions will eventually get me millions. But for now, all I had to do was complete the mission by taking out a bunch of enemies. All right, boom. There we go. Got them all. I shot that guy twice in the head, and he's not dead. Bars. Is this dude really trying to block the road? Ah, uh, man, I better be paid. I have to transport him? Dude, I did the what job. The fuck, dude? On day five, I bought an apartment, which all it really does is it allows you to change clothes and set a spawn location, but that's pretty nice. Hey, we're making our way up in the world, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. And also about this free CEO type place. I don't really know what this is. I would never really come back here, but at least I have it. As a CEO, uh, how do I do that? We gotta make some deal? Yeah, something like that. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, how do I make money? And on day six, my game got modded, so I was awarded like a bunch of guns. Grenade launcher. I don't remember buying that. Machine gun. I didn't buy this. How do I have this? You would see this would happen later, but with XP and stuff. Uh, so it was very weird, but that just goes to show how bad it is on PC, I guess, for playing GTA. There's just a bunch of modders, and you'll see this come back later. Anyways, after that, I started up another mission from Dax. This is literally all you're talking about? Bring it back on to the freak shop, and let's get this thing started. All right, bet. Cool. Wow.
after the supplies blew up all i had to do was go to their base take out a bunch of enemies grab the supplies and just like that the mission was finished and a lot of these missions kind of follow the same repetitive type deal uh, but you know it is what it is on day eight i got lined up but you know she messed up Make my straight, bitches. thank you ah okay i'm done Come back anytime. i'm not coming back ever all right uh yeah we're about to we're about to do this we're about to do missions we're about to get a ton of money and we're about to be set all right here we go let's go do the exact same mission before i went to get my gains up went to the gym all right about to go rob the ops about to go rob the ops i don't, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen the the clip of young boy with no audio auto tune i don't know i'll probably play the clip or something like that but it's absolutely hilarious right around in the drop top with a stolen cop searching for my ops Anyways, after that, I started up another DAX mission. Oh, I can't drive. I don't know how to fly. Should be easy enough. How do you go up? No, get out of the, the phone, man. How do you go up? Go up. Yo, I'm like, come on. I figured it out. No, I haven't. Oh, I'm going to crash. Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to land in the water. This would make it a lot easier. Well, I guess I'm here now. Okay, I won. All right, pass. You know what I mean? On day nine, I basically just started up another DAX mission. I know this is very boring. I, I'm just kind of rehashing exactly what I'm saying. But this was going to give me an insane amount of money because every single time you do this, you get 50K. So it's basically just free money you're farming. There we go. More money, probably 50,000 at the end here. Something like that. And this would continue to go with the laser gun. Obviously, I didn't get this, but I got modded this. But yeah, once I was done with this, it was going to be all up from here. All right, boom. Mission done. Another one down. And I did the exact same thing on day 10. Oh, here we go. I'm about to go rob some place. Of course. It's pretty much how it goes. All right, I got to sneak around. <clears throat> Should be simple enough. This one was a little different, though. Obviously, it involved taking out enemies, but you had to search crates for supplies. And after searching some containers, I was eventually able to collect the chemicals. And I also found this armored truck. And you're able to get this for free after completing all the missions. And eventually, this will lead to the passive income that I was talking about. So this is super worthwhile doing. And at the very end of that, I got myself 250 grand, which is really nice. But I still was not done yet. I had a bunch more missions to do. So I decided I want to keep doing those. All right. Uh, all right. All right. We're going back to Dax. We're going back to Dax. I didn't get the racks. <laughs> I'm cutting that out. Right after that, I started up another mission, which is mainly just kill a bunch of people. But I also popped too many perk 30s or, well, I don't know. This is another stupid mission. It's just weird random colors. And it looks like one of the Master of Cod zombies. This reminds me of uh, Zombies in Spaceland. If you know what that is, you know. Okay. Uh, but anyways, after I got this crazy mission done, I got killed by my own teammate. And I was not going to let that slide. That is wild. Yeah, exactly what you get. Uh, that ain't sweet. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I'll relax. My car now. I just had a two and one. Actually, I'm feeling a little bit pettier than usual today. Yeah, do that again. Do that again. And on day 13, I started up another mission from Dax. It's so hard to control, but maybe I'm just bad at the game. For this mission, I had to fly a plane into another plane. It took me a couple minutes, but eventually I got there. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I was eventually able to land the plane, but uh, it's quite a hectic mission. This took me a long time to do. Basically, 12 pulls up, and you got to just survive. Uh, but eventually, I was able to get it done. And just like that, I had no clothes on. What the fuck? Which is a little weird. Uh, that's a... Bu yeah. <laughs> but I got 100k as well with that. So that was pretty nice. On day 14, I looked around the map looking for clues. Scary. And these random spooky clues or whatever this is leads me to the Navy Revolver, which is a pretty solid secondary, but mainly it's just for money. You actually get a ton of money by doing this little quest. And also while I was doing it, I was a little bit losing it. I was on, I think, this game for quite a few hours. So just ignore that whatever this is. If you know what I'm, if you can pick up what I'm putting down. There we go. I got it. Rank up. 5,000. All right, I got all the clues. Let's go get the Navy revolver and 50,000. Dude, I need to reinvent myself. You know what I'm saying? I got to with the YouTube, all right? This is uh, some real stuff right here because I'm not going to be able to keep 100 days forever, you know? There's not enough games to do that, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm never going to make it. Like, I like doing these videos, but I feel like I'm not going to be at that next level, that million gold plaque if I, you know? So I'm just saying... So I'm going to need to figure something out. Don't know what that's going to be and uh, how many L's I'm going to have to take before I get a dub. But uh, 
You know? Something like that. What do you guys think of that speech? Also, another thing, real quick, I know this is annoying, but uh, subscribe. We're trying to get 100,000, and uh, my ego would go up substantially, so please, that'd be sick. Not sure if it's the right time or whatever, but... Okay, so it's at like 7 o'clock. There we go. That was the right time. Slasher killed. You now own the Navy revolver. Good revolver is just slow. Uh, maybe I can get like an upgrade, so I can upgrade the reload speed or the fire rate. Rate of fire, whatever. That's kind of cool. You get a free something. What was that? I got paid a ton of money. Oh, you get. I got the fifty. Th I got the fifty kills with it, because, or maybe it's just because I read the redemption. Hey, listen. Either way, I got a lot of money right now. Pause it. Perfect. I'm rich. I literally got. I got it. I got it made now. And then after finally getting enough money, I bought the Kasaka, Kasako, uh, you know, I don't even know how to say it. And you get to own a submarine. Now this doesn't sound very useful for money because it's just like a vehicle, but you're able to start a heist with this. And the heist you're able to do gives you an insane amount of money. And I started up the heist prep. Basically, you have to go to this private island and scope out the full area to look for valuables and stuff like that. And eventually come back a lot later to do all the rest of this stuff. So I'm simply just going to go through it really quick. I went through this one gate area and throughout the entire 100 days, this is how I'd get through. You could sometimes mess up, but if you're lucky, you're able to slip through the guards and you eventually make your way to the communications tower and you hack this little panel which then allows you to access the cameras and this is how you're able to get the main valuables that are in this like mansion type area and since it was the first time going through i had to scope out the dock and other places like that and basically the first time going through is a lot harder than all the other times so i thought i might as well just mention all the steps now and then forget about it later and after scouting out everything i made my way back to los santos and once i got back i bought myself the homing launcher do i even buy this oh i kind of want to it would put me down quite a lot of money but i think it's worth it because there's a lot of helicopters and vehicles and it would be a super easy to take them out. I knew I was going to get money out of this, but I didn't really know how much I was going to get. So on day 19, I finally discovered how much I was going to get out of this heist. Holy entry infiltration points of interest. Damn. A million dollars. Is that plus 1.9 million? So 3 million in total, or is it just 9 1.9 million in total or almost 2 million you don't understand you understand and i now started up the prep work and the first thing i had to do was steal this long fin from the police station drive in here uh oopsie doopsie guys it's all a funny prank it was kind of hectic but i got out of there and on day 20 i got gifted a ton of xp by modders so yeah this is the first example of this coming up it will actually pop up again uh but yeah it just goes to show pc is completely modded and i don't want it to be like this obviously it's easier to like unlock stuff sure but i really do want to see what my progress is at the end and like how many levels i got and this just unfortunately doesn't allow me to do that so that kind of sucks but i guess it is what it is holy that scared me okay i wasn't even recording for it but i literally i was trying to do the mission for the next setup with the submarine and everything and i just got a bunch of achievements pop up and that was the loudest thing ever and i think some like modder just gave me a bunch of crap which i don't want i do i want to grind the game out for the 100 days i don't want the handouts dude i i don't know what i i literally left the lobby immediately right when that happened i left i completely shut shut the game off or close the window you know what i mean you know what i'm trying to say and i also did get suited up again but i got shot immediately you don't know why i'm making that noise ha dude you have no ops buddy oh, oh, oh my gosh okay how am i on 40 oh my gosh this dude gave me so many levels don't frick with me a little bro i'll put you on the snapback like this yeah and then I hit you with one of- Oh wait, I hit you with one of these. Target is down, target is down. Sir, get down. Later, get down on the ground, get down. Get down. Get down. down. Alright, I think I'm doing a good job. Anyways, I continue with my prep by grabbing some weapons, bringing them back to the submarine. And yeah, mainly a lot of this heist is literally just the prep. So I had to go to the casino, uh, take out one of the guys there, grab the little card code thing, I don't know, whatever. But eventually after taking out all the guards, I got the safe code. And after doing that, I still needed three more things to do. So I made my way to the O'Neill Ranch, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere. And these guys like instantly killed me. There's a lot of guys in here. Okay, there we go. Walk in straight, immediately get shot, one shotted. Sir, get down. Sir, get down. Hands up. Hands, hands, hands. Hands up, sir. Hands up. Target down, target down. But eventually I was able to bring the charges back. And these aren't really that good. They're super loud, so all the guards get alerted. But it was the first time through, so I didn't really know what I was doing. But eventually I got all the stuff done where I can now start the heist. I didn't even know what I was doing. I had to press start before I could do anything. So I was just trying to spam anything else and it wasn't working. But eventually I figured it out. All right, here we go. I'm ready. All right, start it up. Start it up. Ready to go, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Take out all the ops. 
Heavy armor, I'm definitely taking that. Looking back at this, I gotta relax. I don't know why I was so hyped up, but hey, listen, it's really not that serious. Anyways, I got the high started, and this was pretty rough. I didn't know what I was doing. You know the mark of true this guy gotta stop talking, because I'm literally focused right now. Dude, I need to be on. Brother, brother, brother. What did I even do wrong? That guy was gonna find me either way. I played this bad. So if I lose this mission, what happens? After alerting the guards, I restarted, and I grabbed a disguise. After doing that, I grabbed a truck to see if I could slip by the guards. So, are we supposed- do we, like, blend in right now? Or not? Because we should, which would make sense. Alright, we're gonna do an experiment. Okay, this is really risky. So, only the guys in white, un uh, fall for what I'm doing. After making my way to the compound, I made my way up to this office area, where I grabbed a key card and was able to go down to the basement, and this is where I would find the main treasure. I'm literally not even talking, just because I'm so locked in. What is it? What is the- what is it? 72, 59, 90. 72, 50, 90. I think. Done. This was definitely a tough mission because there's so many enemies, so I had to keep redoing this a bunch of times. And also grabbing secondary targets. These are just on top of the main target you need, so it's just extra money. But the problem is if you get shot, you'll actually lose money. So you want to try to take as little damage as possible here. Done. Pick it up. Go for it. Yeah. After a bunch of attempts, I literally just called up one of my friends and he easily got this done. All I had to do was swim out to the middle of nowhere. And eventually after swimming for about three minutes, I got the mission done. Dude, there's actually no way this works. Let's go. I was so hyped after doing this because it took me literally an hour and a half of just yelling at the screen. I don't know how much money I get. I, I think so, bro. Uh, so shout out to Ugbaba. Yeah, that's 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 it. And just like that, I had over a million in the bank. And I also figured out you could deposit stuff from your phone. I literally went to an ATM this entire time. So that would be a lot more convenient. And from day 27 to 30, I started up the heist once again. And there's not much that changes. It's basically the same process, uh, but you can get a different reward. So like the main target could be either worth more or less, which does kind of suck, which means it varies. And the same thing with the secondary targets. You can either have really good secondary targets or kind of mid secondary targets. Obviously, they're good either way because, you know, the more money, the better. Uh, but eventually, I made my way to go get the intel, and I went by the airstrip, which is completely out of the way out of all the enemies. So this would be a great spot to get secondary targets without getting spotted. And I just found some money. And while I went more inland, I did unfortunately get caught by the guards, but it was okay. I was eventually able to make my way back, where I found the main target in the basement. And right after that, I made my way back to Los Santos. All right, I'm making my way back. I got, I mean, I did everything I need to do, spotted out, did a little bit of whatever, and uh, that took like 30 minutes, which sucks, but whatever. Um, there we go. Once I got back, I got myself a free car, which is pretty nice. I'm sure it's probably some sort of like limited time offer that I got, uh, but this would make getting around a lot quicker. And I was going to need to continue with the long prep work. Uh, so I just got back to it. I went for the submarine mission instead. So instead of getting the boat, I got the submarine, which is a lot better. It's so much better. Oh, why did you? I mean, that works. And during the mission, I got a bunch of XP just from like modders or whatever. A bunch of trophies. I don't really know how to explain it, whatever. And this is what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and this is not done yet. There is more instances of this. What? Okay. This is what happened last time. All right. This is actually what happened last time. That took way too long. That took way longer than it should have, but whatever. Uh, but anyways, I got myself the weapons that I needed, and I brought them back to the Kasaka, which is another step down. Ah! Uh, 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 was he supposed to do that? Uh, I think... I think... I don't know if that was... Was that purposeful? I don't know what that was. Anyways, after that, I took out some guards, I got the plasma cutter, and I brought it back to the submarine. I do need this. Go to the construction site. Alright. I know this is boring, but, like, that's kind of what you gotta do for this. It's gonna be wild. If I get, like, at least a decent amount of the secondary objectives, I'll probably get, like, a million from this. I was getting close to getting the prep done, so all I had to do was sneak into the construction site, which was no problem. There was no guards. I took the cutting torch, and I also got the fingerprint cloner, and just like that, I was now ready to start the heist back up again. But instead of using the truck to go through, I used the drainage pipe, which is so much easier. You don't need to sneak around or anything like that. You park right up next to it with the submarine. You cut open the grid, and just like that, you're in. It's super easy. Uh, but for this one, I just started shooting, and that actually worked pretty well. I took out most of the guards, so it wasn't a big deal. I grabbed myself one of the paintings, and I pretty much just repeated the same process with very little issues. And I swam out to the very end, where I finally got my reward. On day 32, I stole some lab equipment, and this was going to be for the Brigade 6x6. This is from the missions I was doing at the very beginning, and after bringing back the DAX, I was able to get the lab set up. But I was going to need to spend 750000 to do it. I'll make the lab. A lot of money, but uh, I'm ready. Alright, how much is this? Just make sure 700000 Perfect. 
Thank you. After getting the lab, I checked it out, and this would be a great way to get passive income, uh, but it wouldn't be that good until I get the upgrade for it. Then I could really start making money from it. Um, brother, that is my vehicle. Negative, sir. Okay. Don't worry, officers. I've got it under control. After that, I started getting supplies for my lab. Even though it's way better to just buy it, I just really didn't know what I was doing. All right, looking for some sort of schedule right here. Search the vans for supplies. All right. This van. Or, oh my gosh, it's not even here. All the way over here. So, where are all the locations? We got one. I hate that they're all spread out, but... What are you gonna do, I guess? Oh, I was told to actually buy the supplies. Well, okay. Maybe I have to do it for the first time. I don't even remember what happened. Because it takes, like, $60,000, but it's just way less time in the supplies. Oh, it's this one. Wow, first try. Wild. Alright, another mission done. On day 33, I again started up the heist. I understand this is kind of boring, but I had a lot of things I did want to buy, like the agency, and that gives you really good money as well. So kind of grinding out the heist would be the best way to do it. I don't really want to go do this again, but I don't really know what else I can do. And I eventually literally just repeated the process, so there's not really much to say. Went to the hangar, scoped out the area, and I eventually slipped past the guards where I got to the communications tower, found the bonds in the vault, and made my way back to Los Santos. So I just want to skip over this. Not much happened. And then when I got back, I got myself another free car, uh, and I would stick with this one for quite a while. It looks so much cooler, and it's really fast. This thing's pretty sick. Thoughts? $8 for coffee. That's a fair trade. Ah, I disagree. Yeah, this is way better. I don't even know if it is better, but it looks cooler. On day 34, I stole even more supplies. This was obviously for the lab. And once again, not worth it at all. Uh, but I took out a bunch of guards and got the supplies delivered. On day 35, I collected weapons for the heist. And there were a bunch of modders in my game, which it was so annoying. I mean, I was literally just trying to do my mission. And I got trapped in a metal cage. Bro, what is this? Bro, do you see what I gotta deal with right now? After that, I had to restart, and I made my way over to the gun shop, where I purchased myself the military rifle. Although it's around 500000 with the attachments, it's definitely worth it, because it's really good. I used it during the heists, and it was a pretty solid weapon. Alright, I'll buy it. These are That's a lot of money, but I bought it. It was, like, way too much money, like 500000 in total, but got it now. Yeah! Oh, dude. <laughs> That's sick. Protect yourself and have a nice day! Will do. Let's do a little test, uh... Alright, works pretty well. Wow. Wow, they're doing actually a good job. What the heck? After buying the new gun, I made my way to a submarine and infiltrated it. Obviously, this was back for the Kyle Perico heist once again. And I wanted to start out my lab, so I stole some more supplies. I went to a random farm, cleared out a bunch of enemies, and was able to resupply with that. There's also a feature inside the lab where if you do this little animation, it speeds it up for about 30 minutes, which is a nice little bonus. But I was also doing some more, but I was also doing some more missions from Dax that were not related to the lab. Um, and this is actually so I can get the lab upgrade. And this will make really good passive income later on. And on top of doing these missions, you also do get a 50k bonus, which is pretty nice. And on day 38, I just got back to more prep work. So I'm really going to skip over this. But on day 39, there was a hacker in the game. And I'll, I'll just let you know to blow your volume because just a bunch of random stuff happened. Dude, what was that? It's so loud. Jeez. That scared me. Uh, I think I'm getting off for the night. On day 40, I got gifted a bunch of XP. And once again, it was just the modders just messing around, I guess. Uh, stop. Stop. How do I stop? Oh my gosh. Like every... Dude, how often has this happened? I just... I'll spawn in and I'll just hear boom, 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 like everything going on. But anyways, after that, I actually did get back to doing normal missions instead of getting hacked. So I got the fingerprint scanner and I also started messing around with the lab just to see where I was with that. And uh, I finally got the Kyle Perico heist back up where I started with some secondary targets in the hangar. 375,000. Which I don't think is too shabby, actually. After that, I eventually made my way down to the basement. And it was decently smooth. It wasn't a whole lot of problems. And I actually didn't lose that much money. And I was able to get out of there with not a lot of issues. And a quick almost mil added. There we go. Two mil in total. 
Nice. And on day 43, I collected more supplies from my lab, and this is just not worth it at all. It's so bad. I know I keep saying this. You just got to get the upgrade for it because it's pretty much useless without it. Uh, but anyways, on day 44, I got this like suit thing. I don't, and you know, it's not necessary, uh, but I think it looks pretty good. And I had to do this one mission that took me so long. I'm not sure why it took like 30 minutes to do. It wasn't really that difficult, but I just kept dying. So that's why it took so long. Uh, but eventually I got it done. And I also completed my first delivery, uh, but they, you know, they were waiting for me. Of course, buddy. Uh, all right. Well, uh, all right. All right, time to dip. If we can. All right. Coming for on, having fun. Let's go. Oh, the federal government is after me. They want me. I mean, what? Oh, I gotta lose 12. We gotta. <laughs> I gotta dip. Stop falling me. Oh my gosh, I need a dip. I need a dip. 12. No, please, please, please. How long do you need to escape the cops for? Yeah. All right. That could have been worse. That could have been a lot more difficult, but we're good. So what? I got set up. Or something like that. Because there were at least a hundred cops there. At least. What the heck? I thought we were chill, bro. Why do you have to set me up like that? There we go. Alright, let's see what Dex has to do. Alright, more missions. More missions. Yeah, more missions. I'm not too happy about it, but whatever. And after starting up the next Dax mission, I had to kill some enemies and destroy some vehicles. What it means by escape the reinforcements. I have a timer. Oh my gosh, I can't see him. Oh my gosh, okay, I got it. I got it. Barely. And on day 46, I had to start up the heist once again. Time to do the heist again. I'm so excited. This one was very easy. Make my way to the communications tower, hack in and find the bonds, and make my way back. Obviously, that took longer than what I said. It took about a whole day. But you guys have seen it before, so I'm gonna skip over it. Is there a problem here? There a problem. Uh, no. And I also started up another Dax mission. Uh, this one was kind of difficult. This one was kind of annoying. You had to take out a bunch of enemies, but, uh, eventually I got it done. All right. There we go. That took a while, but I just need to get, stop getting the same mission because the missions take like 20 minutes themselves. 25 minutes, which is ridiculous. And I got to do 10 of them. So you do get 50K though. I did forget about that. So back to the heist. Actually, we could start up the agency stuff, I think. I don't even have enough money for this. If I do this, I'm down to nothing. Yeah, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I go down to nothing, but I got something to gain out of it. So agencies, little soul. I think I make a lot of money out of this. I think it's like the second best thing to do in this game. So behind, I think the the heist that I'm doing. So hey, that ain't too too shabby. Um, it's right here. Yeah, I'll make my way there. All right, it better be worth it. I better be making a lot of money. Feel me? You put the bread. You down. made the box, right? <laughs> you did the box, right? Knock, knock, my politically incorrect racial epithets. What that sh do? <laughs> Whoa, what? Dude, is this the same guy who's like, maybe you got rid of all ye? Is, is that the same guy? I remember this dude when he was broke as <laughs> Damn. I ain't even finna go in on your dog. Cause you know <laughs> yeah, that's the same guy, bro. This dude is goaded. And for the first part of the agency, I had to do a pretty standard mission. Obviously, just take out a bunch of enemies. Uh, but the next one, I had to just take out some dudes at a golf course. So that was a little bit different. This going through the movie studio? Please don't go to the movie studio. But get this. But what's the deal? This dude is not. I'm ramming the golf carts, man. I'm trying. Just shoot him. Shoot his tire out. I don't know. Hey, now this the day they gonna be talking about when F. Clinton and partner is listed on the ball sack fire, honey. The what? This guy can't even drive. He's driving backwards. I have no clue how he's literally just zooming. All right, boom. Why did I? I bought armor for that, <coughs> which was pretty unnecessary. But you know, whatever. I just want to know why is it that every time I oh, turn my right back. Y'all in here doing some slicing and did nicing and backroom dealings without me. What? You should listen to me. Maybe then we'll know what Dre phone that. After that, we had to break into the FIB. Uh, just steal a bunch of random stuff. Like, it's it's such repackaged missions. I mean, it's like the same thing over and over. But they just worded a little differently. Like, all right, you know, you understand. Take out enemies, you know, hack something, whatever. Uh, but eventually, I got back to the agency. Um, I'll be honest. I really don't want to do this mission again. At least for right now. But I need some money. Just like a safe amount of money. 
And the last thing I did for day 50 was grab something for the heist. On day 51, I did start up the agency missions. For the first time going through these missions, take a very long time, but every other time past that is super easy. So I started with tailing this limo, and the best thing you can do is literally get spotted immediately and then take out the driver. But I just followed him all the way to the mansion, and that was literally all I needed to do for the first mission. And there's another reason why this took so long, is you actually need to wait in between doing missions, versus when you do it a second time around, you don't have to do like any waiting, you don't have to wait for a cutscene or whatever. You're able to do it right away, and you also know what you're doing this time, so obviously that makes it a lot easier. Uh, but anyways, went to a hangar, took out some enemies, and uh, stole a bike brought it back usually the standard like gta <laughs> missions pretty much on day 52 i did a payphone hit and all you have to do is go up to a payphone call up franklin and you're able to just assassinate somebody for money um i was supposed to get i think you're supposed to get around eighty thousand, unless they got it like completely nerfed because i was only getting forty five thousand at the max and then fifteen thousand at minimum so maybe i got nerfed or whatever but it's still a decent source of money and uh, i also started up another mission for the agency and i continued the dr dre missions and i thought you're supposed to like beat this guy down i grabbed a baseball bat and <laughs> That didn't work. What am I supposed to do? Oh, the stun gun. I want a baseball I bat. Oh. Uh, I thought that was what I was supposed to. Okay, well, my bad. Anyways, I did another payphone hit, but this time only getting 15,000. And I did one of those little raid stashes or whatever, like the houses. And I got a cool $500 out of that. So that was definitely worth it. That's it. 500 bucks. All right. Wasting my time. And I also did check up on my lab again, so nothing really going on there. And I also made my way back to the casino, which has been a little while. And I spun the wheel and got 50000 so not too bad. I was only one off the car. All right, what do I get? Oh, uh, 50K, though. That's really good. On day 54, I did the mission correctly this time. I didn't beat him with a baseball bat. This time, I actually used a stun gun, put him in a trunk, and then basically we just kidnap him, but, you know, it is what it is. And after completing that mission, I bought myself the Red Dead outfit. Obviously not necessary, but, yeah, I thought I might as well. And I also did another Dax mission. I'm just slowly but surely creeping towards that goal of being able to get the upgrade. Then after that, I did start up another one for the agency. The refresh timer was finally done, and uh, it's a lot of the same. Just take out a bunch of enemies and destroy a bunch of vehicles. Trash the party as in, like, blow up. Like that. After a bit of time, I had to take out this helicopter, which I just shot down with my pistol. And surprisingly, the pistol does a lot of damage. All uh, right. So, is it, are we killing this dude or not? Hold on, watch this. Sorry, brother. All right, let's make our way back to the agency. We got the dude's phone. I'm, I'm dipping. And just like that, I got the mission done, returning back to the agency and getting one step closer to finishing the Dr. Dre missions. And uh, I, did the, I did literally the exact same thing again. Just trying to get these done as fast as possible. All right, here we go. Security. Security tape. All right, let's dip. All right, there we go. Another thing down. <sighs> and I made my way to a yacht for a mission, and I found the location where I needed to go or whatever. And for this, I had to go to the casino and bring back a backpack. All right, here we go. Let's bring this back to the agency. Like, these missions are kind of whatever. Honestly, I'd rather do the heist, because A, that gives you more money, and... Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of a lot of grinding right now. And once again, I did another one of these weird DAX missions on day 57. I know these are not very interesting, but a lot of this is just a grind until you can get to the good stuff. So for now, I'd have to do a lot of grinding until I can get to where I want to be. It's like COD zombies. Uh, gone. And yeah, another DAX mission down. And I was getting pretty close to getting the equipment upgrade. And I just continued with more missions, so I'm not going to bore you with that. <laughs> but I did do this mission where I just had to blow a bunch of people up. So that was different, I guess. All right, I'm getting close to getting these missions done, which is nice. Here we go. Uh, let's go do something. I don't know. Some sort of mission. What is going on? Hey, I said we get out and just do that. I mean, that was a good play. I don't know who's the enemy or not, but they're all dead now. Is this how the game is supposed to go? There are a lot of enemies. All right, following this guy. Don't mind whatever is going on here. And after doing this, I really started to feel the burnout on these missions. I just was like, this is the same thing over and over. But it would be done soon. All right, let's get these DAX missions done so I could finally, finally get the upgrade for this. Because this is taking forever. After that, I did another DAX mission that was pretty easy, and I was getting close to getting that done. And I was finally at the last of my nine missions I needed to do. And for this one, take out more enemies, recover this car, and then bring it back to the agency. It's playing copyrighted music, so I can't play it or whatever. And the next thing you had to do is go to the studio and clear out a bunch of enemies. And hey, listen, they were cooking, but uh, no one was hungry. Alright, I say, uh... And I've got to say, in all honesty, um... It's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. I'm gonna be honest, that song needs to be unreleased. I don't know. That is just, it's just bad. It's just bad. Uh, but anyways, I got to the final mission before I can get a million. Injure? All right, bet. 
When I think of Injure, what's the first thing you think of? Oh. Oh my gosh, I failed the mission. Oh, okay. I got you, Johnny Guns. <laughs> mission passed. How much? Million dollars. There we go. $2.3 million. You'll love to see it. Uh, was it worth it? No, no, definitely not. But, uh, you know, a million dollars is a million dollars, so... And just like that, I got the million. Now, so far, it doesn't seem worth it because how long this took. But everything past this is going to be a breeze. Because you don't need to worry about cutscenes. You don't got to worry about downtime. And you know exactly what to do. So it'll be super easy. And on day 60, I did start up the Kyle Preco heist once again. All right, dude. Mm, finale. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, bro, I've done this so many times already. Probably going to start getting mad. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, we're going solo. In case you guys are curious. You are out of your mind if you think we're going four, man. No, we're not doing squads. This is solo mission. All right, well, you know, m money is money. I was going to say a really dumb comment here. I was... Bro, can you shut... I actually might turn dialogue off because I actually just want to talk. Dude, you're acting like I haven't done this before. I was going to say, um, I don't know that you could use, like, United States currency, but I don't know how that would be copyrighted, so... I don't know, a little bit, just... We're just a bit, you know, out of it today. It's fine. Going back to Rubio's compound... About to get it down. Bars. <laughs> that was stupid. 80, I think. I could be wrong on this. Perfect. All right, we're out, we're out, we're out. All right, time to dip. So we're probably going to shave off another 30K from getting shot. And we got this done in a good 25 to 35 minutes. I'm going to be, able, we're going to go in the between. I probably got this done in about 30 minutes. So we actually do love to see it. It's, if he's heading back, that means we're getting close to the end. There we are. All right, this will get us over three million. That's for sure, though. What are we gonna get out of it? Wow, that's actually pretty terrible. Three point two million. We're gonna do one more mission from Dax, and then I'm probably gonna take him out, assassinate him if he doesn't give me the upgrade that I want. Yeah. You guys might not believe it, but I did another Dax mission. Kind of crazy to think, but uh, I got that done. And the next day after that, I did a quick payphone hit, and then finally, finally, I was done with all the Dax missions, getting the last one completed. Jeez. There we go. Jump on, there we go. And we're out of the area. Nice. Equipment upgrade, yes, finally! <laughs> Alright, there we go, we love to see it. You do love to see it. Oh, perfect, dude. Perfect. That was kind of a grind to get that done, but it's over now. Alright, time to get the upgrade. I think it's 300,000, something like that. 360, oh, not even, 250. I don't really need armor. But 50k, that's easy. It's kind of like, um, maybe I'm doing too much right now, but uh, you know what? Actually, um, delivery bike as well. Armor. Yeah, get a big armor upgrade for that. And right after that, I did a resupply for my lab. Uh, this is completely unnecessary. I should have just bought the supplies, but yeah, I did it. So <laughs> it's done now. And on day 63, I kind of pimped out my car a little bit. It was it was looking pretty good. I got some lights and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I, I thought it looked decent. And I also bought myself the assault shotgun. I got it I got it gifted by modders, but then it got taken away. And I thought it was pretty good. So I decided to buy it for myself. And I also got one last suit that I would wear. This would be my main outfit for the rest of the 100 days. Pretty simple, just black suit. Uh, but I think it looks nice. Oh, this is going to be a lot easier. Yeah, this is going to be way better. Because I don't have to do all the the, the cutscenes. I don't have to do the starting missions. Uh, the the break into the FIB. I don't have to do any of that. So this is going to be actually a lot better. So I might... I'll do another round of the agency missions real quick. Uh, not real quick, but you understand what I'm saying. It'll take a bit, but yeah. And from day 64 all the way to day 68, I spent this entire time doing the agency missions again, which was an absolute breeze. So yeah, it just got so much easier after doing it once. Not a lot of cutscenes. And yeah, it was just easy. There we go. I mean, it wasn't that hard to do. I think after this, I'll do the heist. I mean, it's like the same board thing over and over, but whatever. And after getting myself the million dollars, I was now able to make a delivery. It's already done. Holy, okay, okay. Let's sell it. Worst case scenario, I get robbed. 500K. Wow, that's actually really good. Oh, man, they were not lying. Okay, so basically, I'll be honest, the lab is terrible if you don't have the upgrade. It's literally, it's kind of a waste of time. But once you get the upgrade, it's really, dude, I literally didn't have to do anything. I just had to buy supplies. And right after getting a ton of money, I bought myself the Lambo. Obviously, this is a terrible purchase looking back. I should have saved up to get the oppressor, but I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to control it because I tried to fly the helicopter as well as the planes, and those took, like, those were impossible to fly on PC. So I was thinking it'd be the same way with the Mark II, but eventually you guys would figure out that it's actually extremely extremely easy to fly it. So I kind of did waste my money on buying this car. It does look very cool though. So yeah, this will be my new main vehicle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, this is what I was expecting. All right, perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. We got to go. We got to go somewhere. We got to 
we gotta go you know get this thing pimped out a little bit and i also brought it over to los santos customs where i got it some lights and stuff like that and i got attacked immediately uh Thanks, okay time to dip never mind <laughs> uh, <laughs> horrible flying horrible flying not that I could do any better, to be honest, but... After the drone strike, I made my way back to do the Kyle Perico heist. Uh, just something quick to get myself some money back. Go. Go, 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 go. We just have to get lucky that he doesn't turn around. Boom. We're out. Oh, okay. That's the hard part done. At the end of day 69, I eventually made my way back to Los Santos. And from day 70 all the way to day 72, I was basically just doing the heist once again. So you guys can see I did all those steps in only a few days. So it was definitely getting a lot easier to do all this stuff. And uh, also, since I got gifted a bunch of stuff by modders, I was able to buy the RPG, which is insanely good, taking out vehicles and stuff like that. Um, and I also did the agency once again, which was very easy. I had to listen to this terrible cutscene again. You know, it's whatever. And on day 76, I eventually got myself another mill. So my money production was speeding up a bunch. A, I don't want to bore you guys with this. And B, it just got a lot easier. So it took a lot less time. And I did do another delivery, as well as spinning the wheel and getting lucky and getting myself the vehicle. I actually don't know where this vehicle is. I'll be honest. I put it to one of my garages, but I couldn't find it. So it's kind of like lost, I guess. So I still, at the end of the 100 days, I still don't know where it was. But I did buy myself the bunker. I thought this was decent for money. Um, Looking back at the 100 days here, I didn't get any money out of this. But maybe I just needed to give it some time or something like that. I just didn't really know what I was doing. But I bought myself a full bunker. And I needed to do the agency missions again. Because I didn't want to get myself the upgrades for the bunker. Because without it, it's not that good. So I completed the agency missions again. And literally right after that, on day 84, all the way to day 88, I completed it. Okay, and again, yeah, nothing interesting going on. I got myself another million. And on day 89, I met this Disney moderator in a park so that was different i know that's not what i think it is <laughs> But anyways, this was for the Diamond Casino heist. Unfortunately, I was not going to be able to do it at the end of the 100 days. Uh, but you have to buy like an arcade and stuff like that. So that was the missions I was going to go do. And not surprising, once again, from the rest of day 89 all the way to day 95, I just did the agency missions again. I also bought myself an arcade, which is kind of cool just as is. This is mainly used for the heist. I think it does give you some passive income. Not a whole lot, but it's definitely cool. And I had to bring the supplies back to the arcade. Pretty simple delivery type mission. And I got to the planning board. And this is how you'd be able to plan out the heist. So I still don't really know how this works out because I didn't even complete it. Uh, but I get the general prep thing. It's it's similar to the Kyle Perico heist. You got to do a bunch of prep so you can do the final heist. So on day 96, I had to hack this guy's phone, which was pretty easy. Just get in his proximity and you're good to go. And then I could go spot out the vault where you'd find the vault contents. On day 97, I was going to go deliver my supplies, but you know, the federal government was waiting for me, uh, but it was fine. Eventually I got out of there and sold my goods. On day 99, I didn't do a whole lot. I just did some prep work for the Diamond Casino heist. When while I was escaping one of the prisons, a modder spawned the oppressor right in front of me. And I thought I might as well. Obviously, I don't want to like cheat or anything. But I was like, I want to see how this thing works. So I flew it and it was super easy. It's super easy to control. So it wasn't a problem at all. And finally, we arrived at the end. On day 100, I went into this weird computer server place. Uh, just the usual prep work, I guess. And I also made my way back to the planning board where I needed to go collect this vehicle. And I had to bring it back. But, um, you know, there's just like so many hackers at this point. <laughs> Um, so I got flown around the map. I don't even know what happened. All the vehicles started exploding and stuff like that. And also this dude ran up on me. I didn't know what he was going to do, but you know, I wasn't taking any chances. So I just shot him down and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty ironic that the hundred days ends with me just getting hacked, but you know, that's just how it goes. And just like that, that was the end of 100 days in GTA online. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys do want to see a 200 days on this. Because I'm definitely down to do that. There's a lot of content that I can cover. Uh, so just let me know in the comments. And yeah, I also just do want to mention is uh, I, I kind of want to switch up the content soon. I've been doing the same content for around a year and a half. Uh, obviously, I'm going to keep doing this. But maybe in between these kind of uploads, I'll make something different. So don't know how it'll perform or whatever. But I just want to do something new. Because recently, I have been kind of burnt out. Um, so that's why this video has taken quite a while to come out. Uh, so yeah, but I'll, I'll be back on it soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'll I'll see you guys in the next one.